This is a little tutorial on how to use the Apply Image tool in the Filters section of Affinity Photo. You start with your primary image and you have to have your primary image selected. It's the one you want to modify. And you, see, and you click on Filters and go to Apply Image. And you can see the little um, diagram there of how you do that. Now tap on Apply Image and a small context menu comes up and you see the tab Image with the down arrow. Select this and go and find the image. Once you tap that, it will apply the image into your primary image from where you can adjust it and do what you like with it. But it won't be permanent until you tap Apply. If you make any other types of changes, it will go away. But you can put it into a new layer. You can put an image into a new layer, but you must have something in the layer already. Otherwise, you just get the block of the image. It's very difficult to work with that. If you like these tutorials, please keep updated by subscribing to my YouTube channel. and You can see the address there. The video followed. Applying an image. It's a tool in the filter panel. It's, um, it's available both on the iPad and the desktop. So the process will be similar in both cases. Um, the first thing we need to do, and it's really quite simple, is open a, an image, and I'll import one from Photos, which I can do directly on the iPad. On the desktop, of course, you open the image in, um, in Photos and then edit with Affinity Photo. Now we have the photo, as you can see, and what I want to do is place the hummingbird that you may have seen at the start. I'll place the hummingbird into the image. Now, you have to be careful with some of the images. If images have been taken with an iPhone, it rotates them 90 degrees, which is a real nuisance. So you have to watch this to start with and make sure your images are the correct rotation. If you've taken your photo with an actual camera, like a DSLR or uh, Four Thirds or one of those, it'll be okay. It only seems to be the iPhone. For some reason, um, Affinity Photo is not reading uh, or not interpreting the, the image correctly. So, without further ado, let's place an image. And you start by using the filter. That's that one there. Think of it as a filter. And we're going to apply the image. That's that one there. Now down the bottom it says image mode. There's also current layer, but we're dealing with image mode at the moment. So let's call in an image. That one there. Now you can see I've got bird no background. I've got no background on it because the hummingbird next to it you can see with the green background, it overlays the image far too much. The green's far too strong. So I removed the background, bird with no background, and you can see it's placed it directly in the image. Now it's not there permanently because I haven't yet tapped apply, which is kind of hidden down the bottom right hand corner there. Now you can't adjust that or, or move the size of it or anything yet because um, it's, the, the image is actually applied into the existing image. You can see the image there. It's not on its own background. It's just gone directly into that image. Let's close that. What you can do is you can change the opacity. This is before you apply it. Once you've applied it, you can't modify this. You can, you can change the opacity, not of the main image, but the image you're inputting. Now, 100% opacity that's a very strong image, and that's not too bad if that's what you like. The scale vertically to fit and scale horizontally to fit, they're rather strange because you can't alter them. Well, you can alter them, but let me show you. If I undo that one, it squeezes the bird down. If I undo that one, you've got a little bird up the top right-hand corner. Now, that's not too bad, so I might leave him there, actually. It, look, it looks a bit better in relation to the flower. Now the other thing you can do, normal, you can darken the bird. 
you can darken the color multiply you can see how it's changing the effect color burn oh that's very strange lighter burn linear burn sorry lighten oh too light can't see it at all well to keep this short let's go back to normal there's your normal bird now don't forget to click apply which is down the bottom corner you can see it there now there's the hummingbird coming into the flower and we'll click apply now it's in the image bring that back in and it's on select and you can bring that in now the other thing that I mentioned in the um, in the slideshow you can see that's a single layer if you put another pixel layer on top of that you can see I've got another pixel layer there the color is white let's let's make it a, a pale yellow or only just a yellow only just off white okay that's and that's the layer that's over it it's set to that if I paint on that layer flood fill it oh come on there we go it's just not respond responding to the to the pen too well now what I want to do is FX I want to reduce the opacity of that because I want to demonstrate something without that layer you cannot input or you, you cannot do apply image but with that there you can apply an image same deal down the bottom and there it is do we want another bird on there why not and there you can see there's a huge bird but you can't move that bird because the opacity is set and I didn't I didn't um, apply the image so there we have it with well, those that there let's try a different image go back to there make sure that layer is selected or it'll overwrite your underneath layer apply image give it a moment there we go let's put something on there we can see a streak of lightning and there's the streak of lightning and why is that streak of lightning so pale because in effects we've got opacity is set very low now there's the opacity set a bit higher and that's behaving that way because it's overlaying the background now I haven't clicked apply yet don't forget to click apply there's apply click now it looks like that if I take away the flower there's your streak of lightning if I take away the lightning there's your flower with the hummingbird just to recap that if you want to put an image apply an image to that image you have to have it selected if you want to apply apply an image to that layer you have to have it selected but that layer has to have something in it if you just create a layer new pixel layer you see you've got a new pixel layer there let's see if we can apply an image to that pixel layer apply an image apply an image this will probably work now that I don't want it to and there it is a little image in there and it's sitting in that pixel layer but I did something to it and away it went unless you click apply it won't stick we don't want that pixel layer there's that one beneath it that's our original and of course it's got the bird 
the little hummingbird in the top right hand corner there now. You can see him up there. There he is there. There's the rose. And you can export that image, do what you like with it. It's very nice. Export. Taking a little minute to um, generate the export because I've made it do some work here. Share it to save image, saves it to photos. And it's called Small Bird on Small Bird on Flower. Click OK. Away it goes. Let's save it in Affinity Photos folder. And there we go. Cancel that. And that's the end of that little exercise. <laughs>